So in this video, I'm going to show you how to open a Jupyter Notebook. You click on Start for using Windows. And then you can open by writing Jupyter Notebook like this. But I'm going to open it using the terminal. So I'm going to write Anaconda. And you can see that we have Anaconda Prompt and Anaconda PowerShell Prompt. So you can choose any of them. So for now, I'm going to click on Anaconda PowerShell. And here you can see it's showing me the directory C users and then Fahad. If you see here on my desktop, I already have a folder where I'm going to put all of my Jupyter files in it. And I want to use this folder as my directory. So basically directory is a place where I'm going to put all of my data sets, all of my files. So they don't scatter around all of my PC. So it's just in one place if I want to uh, use Jupyter Notebook. So the first thing I think I'm going to do before I open Jupyter Notebook, I want to change the path of the directory. So I'm going to write CD and then desktop like this and then enter. And now it's showing me that the location, it's changed from Fahad user to Fahad to desktop. Now we are on the desktop right now. I still have one more step to do which is choosing this folder python for data science course codes you can just come here right click and click new and then folder and you can just rename it whatever you want for me it's going to be python for data science course codes because i'm here uh, saving all of my files in here so i'm going to write cd which is stand for directory and i'm going to write python which is i just wrote pyt and then i clicked on tab it's showing me that I have only this folder on my desktop. So I'm going to press enter. And now the directory is in Fahad desktop and Python. Now I'm inside the folder. So if I'm going to open Jupyter Notebook right now, it's going to open and it's going to show me all of the files that I have inside this folder. So I'm going to write here, Jupyter. notebook like this and click enter now once I'm going to click enter it's going to open from your default internet browser so for me my default internet browser is Chrome but unfortunately it doesn't show perfectly so I'm going to change it to Firefox and I'm going to show you how to do that I'm going to press enter now it's going to load Jupyter Notebook and it's going to open it for me and here you can see that the Jupyter Notebook is open but it's showing me in Arabic so I'm going to minimize and I'm going to go and here I can just copy this, control C, like highlight the URL and control C, and then just go to your uh, preferred internet browser and paste this URL. So I'm going to go to Firefox and paste it. And now you can see that I have Jupyter Notebook open, and these are the folders that I have inside that folder and here you can see that files which is this and then you have the running files if it's in, in terminal or notebooks you have clusters so until now we have nothing open I can just come here and click new and I can see that I can open a notebook Python 3 or I can create a text file or a folder or a terminal now I can click on the folder here and you guys can see that here it's showing me untitled folder I can just click here and click on rename and I can rename it let's say test folder like this and then I'm gonna have a folder or I can just come here and click on terminal I, I already opened terminal if you guys remember but I can also open the terminal here so I'm gonna click here and you guys can see that I have the same terminal but inside the browser this time instead of a window 
and I can just come here and write, let's say, Python space dash capital V, which means show me the version of Python. So right now I'm using 3.9 and in future I'm going to show you how to update the version of a Python. But, and then let's just see which libraries that we have installed. So I'm going to write pip and then list. I'm going to press enter and you guys can see now I have all these libraries installed inside my PC because remember when I said when we install Anaconda it installs the packages which are needed in the field of data science like we have something called uh, NumPy and Pandas so let me show you we have matplotlib for data visualization uh, we have a NumPy here which going to use it we have scikit-learn where is scikit-learn yes here so these are all the libraries that we have right now now we, I can just come here and I close this window don't click on logout it's gonna log out the entire Jupyter but just close the tab and we are back here and you can just come here and click on iPon, IPython 3 IPY which is interactive Python kernel you guys click on this one and it's going to open a new Jupyter notebook for you and this is a Jupyter notebook Thank you.